someone is just going through my store favoriting a bunch of stuff and it's making me so happy. But the printer has decided to start throwing up some lines onto the stuff that's printing. It's finally all done, so now I'm on to packaging. So it's 6.40, I don't know how long this packaging is gonna take me. Good morning, my loves. The time is actually 20 past 11, so we're very close to being lunchtime. But I have got a bunch of stuff done this morning. I managed to reply to all my comments on my YouTube videos. Thank you so much for your engagement, by the way. It really means a lot to me, and I'm really happy to see that you guys are actually enjoying these vlogs and you want me to do more of them. At the moment, they are posted every Sunday, but I am hoping once I get like the hang of it a little bit better, then I can add in like some extras. This is how I did my hair today. I just I feel like showing you guys every time um, I added like some clips here and these are overnight curls which I really love because they kind of like look pretty natural I think anyway yeah I don't my hair is really thin so I don't have a lot of hair I did want to have um, like bunches and have it down but I also managed to reply to some Instagram comments today I also started to make a fry up, a vegan fry up, so, and I'm just waiting for that to finish cooking and then I'm gonna have that because it's quite a big meal um, and the reason for it is because we have 26 orders to do today, um, which when you watch people's vlogs, art vlogs, um, they'll have like hundreds and plus like in the title like how many orders they do and I've always been like oh my god that's so much but like 26 is quite a lot like the stuff we've got to make up today um like some of them are quite big orders so it's probably going to take the entire day and probably into the evening as well because I've started so late and as always, thank you so much if you have bought something from my store. It really, really, really helps and means so much to me. So I have done my week planning. I did this, I think it was like Saturday or Sunday. But I haven't stuck any stickers and I feel like we need to make time for that this week. It does look neater though. I am getting better at writing out things neater. Yesterday, I spent a lot of time making these phone icons for my patrons for December and I am so excited for it. Um, they're gonna be on the Moonlight Plus tier, so if you wanna join and you want these icons, you want this theme pack, then check that out. Any tier from Moonlight and up will give you these icons. Also, if you just want the wallpapers, you can just sign up to the, I think it's like $3 or something. Um, it's my star dust tier. Um, you can just sign up to that and you'll get the wallpapers and the coloring page and everything. You just won't get the icons and the widgets. Anyway, it takes a long time to make these icons. Like they're so small and they're like so quick to make the singular image, but because of so many icons, it takes forever. Um, and I've also made some widgets and it's actually been pretty fun, like learning what dimensions I need to have to make the widgets like look um, high quality and to make the icons look right. What I'm actually hoping to do is to have this like a recurring thing every month. Um, at the moment, I am ahead of myself, so I am, pretty organized I feel like for once in my life I'm hoping that I can keep this up and then if I can that means that I can do these icons every month and have like a new theme every month and obviously um, January at the moment is going to be the um, Cupid's Bakery so I am so excited to have like this whole like love um, angel aesthetic going on for the theme pack for that and the Winter Princess theme pack is looking so nice already. I have it on my phone and I don't want to change it. The person who inspired me to make these packs is Sleepy Days. I know a lot of people do these icon packs and like theme packs and whatever but Sleepy Days was the one that I found and I was like oh my god I'm in love and um, I really wanted to do something and have it like a patron exclusive um, but then it is going to also be in my store which I hope people really like and I'm hoping to get better because um, I really like the icons that I'm making now but I want to improve still. I always want to improve with everything so um, yeah I'm gonna, fingers crossed, I'm gonna stick with it. I also spent the weekend finishing off one of the sticker sheets which was the Snow Kitty sticker sheet. As you can see I've got my whole like new design on it as well which I really love and I'm really pleased that I took the time to actually 
work out how I wanted it to look and actually put that down and design it and everything because even though that can be time consuming, I can now bring that onto all the future sticker sheets and um, like backing cards and things like that. So I did want to do a second sticker sheet, but I am wondering if I'm pushing myself too much with the second sticker sheet. Oh my God, why can I not talk? With a second sticker sheet because I'm planning a print a sticker which I ordered from sticker, sticker app by the way my first ever professional sticker I'm so excited for it this is the one that I did and I chose the mirror effect like Sonia she does this, she does these amazing stickers I just have to show you one of them because you have to see what I mean but like that mirror effect there do you see that's basically what I've gone for on um, my sticker of this one and I'm really looking forward to it I'm excited anyway that is one of the things that we got to do today is finish the sheet and also do the patreon theme icon pack so I'm a little bit ahead there because I have already started it um, it did take me I think two hours yesterday to do two pages of icons two widgets and two wallpapers two wallpapers and today i think i have like two more pages of icons to do then i'm gonna have to write up a pdf uh like tutorial instruction sheet for people because these icons aren't super easy to do anyway so the main thing today is to package make and send make what <laughs> make, package and send all my orders for today. Like I said, we have 26, so I'm going to start off by writing down every um, item and then we're gonna stock check as usual. just had to show you guys look at this wow all the stuff I've got to make up So I did actually manage to get a bunch of stickers from the stock, but there is still a few that need to be printed off, so we're going to do that now. So I've got to get out my um, iPad because someone ordered personalized love hearts from me. Um, and basically, like four of the stickers, I think you can have your own personalized um, names on them. And they do really well. I think I mentioned this in a previous vlog, but they do do really well. Um, this is what they are like. Well, this is what it's like in my canvas. And then I've got to um, edit the name and edit like the layout and stuff, depending on how the customers ask for it. Um, and then, yeah, I just send it over to my Mac and I just airdrop it. It's so easy. I love having like all Apple products. So I'm gonna get on to doing that. I did think I had to make something up. Yes, I do have some custom labels for one of my very good customers. Um, she orders for me quite a lot. Um, and 
I gotta do some custom labels for her. And yeah, so we're gonna do that now on the iPad, send it over and get it printed off. Okay, so I have done the custom stickers and I have done printing off all the missing stickers that weren't in stock. Um, the only thing I have to do now is, well not the only thing, but the next thing that I have to do now is try to figure out how much stock I have of the um, like patron packages. So someone's ordered the Sun and Moon, which was a recent one, which I think I have everything left over for that. Someone else has ordered the Astrology Club one, which is from last year, from last like February or something. So I don't always have that one in stock. So we're gonna have a look at what we've got. If we don't have it, I'm gonna print off all the sticker versions and then we're gonna move the and then we're gonna move on to printing off the prints and the cards, all that kind of stuff. Um, so the stickers is first. I always print the stickers first because the paper thinner and my printer is very temperamental. So um, I think all printers generally are, um, but these Epson EcoTank ones especially, like they just, they don't like to switch from thin paper to thick paper. They like just get, it's just too much for them. And then if that's the case, we can move on and we can make the handmade oracle decks. So there's like three of the crystal oracle decks um, to make up, which are harder because I usually print off one card per page. So I'll do four to a page. At the moment, there's only seven different cards. Um, but by the end of this deck, there will be 12. And then that's when I will get them probably sent off to supplier to make up professionally. But I am hearing from my reviews that quite a few people expect more than 12 oracle cards and 12 oracle cards is actually, it's already pretty expensive like including the um, shipping and stuff like that. Shipping can be just as expensive as making of the actual cards. So I have been thinking before I send it off, should I make like a bunch of extra crystal girls? Um, and then include them in sending that off to the supplier to get the cards made up. Anyway, loads of rambling. I don't know if I missed anything there, but I am going to look for those Patreon packages now. Um, I am getting pretty low on laminating sheets, so I'm gonna have to order that today. I did not think about it before I did my Black Friday sales, and yeah, that's all we have left, which should be okay for the rest of this week maybe, but we need more. Some of you will know about this drawer already because you would have seen it from my previous um, vlogs and stuff. This is my patron drawer. It's a bit of a mess, don't judge me. I need to organize everything really. But in here is where I keep all of the like made up ones. So as you can see, there's some left over from this month, some sticker sheets. We have, oh, is that all we've got? This is from the sun and the moon. So that's good because that's the sticker sheets and the stickers that I sent out with it. So I'm gonna put that up here because that's part of one of the orders. And then now I need to look for Astrology Club, which, oh, we do have some, yay, okay. Astrology Club was probably one of my like um, most popular ones. Um, so, it's not very organized. I need to fix this all. I need a proper like filing system and I really need it like up on my desk somewhere, like here maybe rather than in this drawer because it's right under this desk as well. It can be a bit of a pain to get into. Um, but I have like all of the stuff that I've ordered before for my Patreon packages. And I also ordered these butterflies, where are they? These butterflies one time and I never used them so I can't wait for the next butterfly theme because these are gonna go into those packages and they're so pretty. Someone is just going through my store favoriting a bunch of stuff and it's making me so happy. Literally like this last couple of weeks or something I keep getting favorites in my store and I think it's because my notifications are actually working ever since I switched from the sell on Etsy app to the Etsy seller app. I do actually keep both um, but the Etsy seller one actually lets me know things actually like um, gives me notifications so um, but yeah we get a 
All right, now I'm going to print off the prints and like the astrology wheel and stuff like that because this is the last sticker she or sorry, last um, sticker that's printing. So we're gonna do that now. Okay, so as you can see, the prints are printing here. Um, I just need to try and figure out how many pages it's printing and where it stops. And then I'm gonna put the double-sided paper behind it and I'm gonna start setting up the um, oracle cards to print. Okay, I thought it might be good to show you what paper I use to make up like bookmarks and oracle cards and stuff like that. Um, I would suggest highly suggest to use the paper of your printer. So if you have Canon, use Canon paper. If you have an Epson, use Epson paper. Before I switched over to purely Epson paper, um, I was using like a mix of cards and like art paper and stuff like that, like watercolor paper. Um, but nothing works as good as the Epson paper. Look at this, my curls are already coming out. So this is the paper that I use, double-sided matte paper from Epson and it's double-sided. So the main paper that I use, the Epson archival paper, which I have the box right here, um, this paper has like a more yellowish tint to the back and you can't really print on it. Um, but this double-sided paper, it weighs less, but it, I think it weighs less anyway. Yeah, just slightly less, um, but you can print on both sides, which makes it perfect for bookmarks and oracle cards. One thing I'm worried about is Printing with thin paper for bookmarks and oracle cards, would that still like translate to a um, high quality product? Um, because it wasn't as thick and I thought maybe it wouldn't be as heavy and people would feel like it was a bit flimsy. But when you add the laminate to this, then it makes it thicker. So it's absolutely fine. Actually, the laminate paper that I use with my oracle decks is amazing for shuffling like it just it's such a smooth shuffle it's even better than the ones that i get professionally made up like the shuffle is just so smooth um and the cards like separate um i don't know if you've ever used oracle cards or tarot cards but sometimes the cards are like stuck together and i have noticed that more with like my professionally made decks but when i hand make it the cards just like slide against each other which is really good so I'm gonna get this into my printer now and we're gonna start printing all those cards and bookmarks. Oh my gosh, you guys. I have just realized we are onto our last box of Oracle decks, like not Oracle decks in general, um, the Greek Goddess Oracle decks. I usually call them Oracle decks because they're like my first ones. And I call the Zodiac Oracle decks. <laughs> and I call the Zodiac Oracle decks Zodiacs. Anyway, we are onto, let me just show you. We're on to our last box. This is so heavy. Our last box of Greek Goddess Oracle cards. I'm, I can't believe it. I had like four or five boxes of this when I started and yeah, this is incredible. So um, I had to get them out because I just finished the other box. Um, so I'm gonna put this in its place and yeah, I'm thinking now, I don't know if it's actually gonna happen now. It's probably gonna be, a very future thing, I'm not sure I'll have the time, but I'm thinking of redesigning the Greek Goddess Oracle cards in my style now, and then maybe make more 
more of the cards. That's my that's my idea. So not restock these. Restock a new edition of them. I feel like that could be really fun. I have been realizing all day just how many supplies I'm gonna have to buy. The first thing was this ring light that you are on. I told you guys about it in the last vlog, if you remember it. It was being temperamental, it did actually work when I plugged it into a different USB. But I spent like five minutes plugging it in and out of different USBs this morning and it refused. It out outright refused to light up. So that's the first thing that I need to buy. So that's the first thing I need to buy and then obviously the laminating sheets I have to rebuy. And I also now have realised that I'm on my last box of double sided paper and if the Crystal Girls Oracle decks keep selling like they are and the Fortune decks keep selling like they are, um, I'm not going to have enough so I'm going to have to reorder some of those. It is pretty expensive sometimes running your own business. Like the money comes in and then it goes straight back out onto all these different supplies that you need. Okay, I feel like I literally just told you guys about this, but the printer has decided to start throwing up some lines onto the stuff that's printing. For example, you're probably not gonna be able to tell from the camera because I had to be a bit like, to actually see it. These are actually lined kind of like in between the cards. I don't know if you can tell, but I have paused the rest of the sheets. I'm going to do a nozzle check and a clean out. Another reason why outsourcing is gonna be so much better. Okay, so I'm not really sure what's happening with the printer. I have done like a nozzle check and realignment, all that stuff that I would normally do and everything is coming out saying it's fine, but it's still printing the bands, the lines, whatever you want to call it, onto the prints and I can't sell them like that. Um, it's just so frustrating because it's like all of a sudden randomly happened, like I managed to print a bunch of other stuff. So I've decided, even though it says it doesn't need a clean, I've decided to give it a clean because in the past that's the only thing that's ever fixed it. So that is what I'm doing now. While that cleans, I figured, because I was just sort of sat here like, well, what am I going to do now? Because <laughs> nothing is sort of ready. So I can either start um, prepping the like products. So basically like the Oracle cards and stuff, take them out of their wrappers, put them into their organza bags and stuff like that. Or I can start like cutting everything on the Cricut. To be honest, I'll probably try and do both, try and juggle both. Somehow I've managed to get lipstick on my jumper, like literally no idea how. So it did not work, it's it's still lining and I really, I just, I've just, I'm just so stressed out about it now because like this is a brand new printer and I don't know what to do because I've realigned it, I've cleaned it like do i clean it another time i feel like everyone struggles with this though even the um like industrial printing companies because i've received products before from like professional places that have lines through it as well like why can we not make a printer that doesn't give us lines the issue i have now is i could just print on this printer here right one of my older ones i could just print on that but this older printer is the first eco tank that i got it decides it loves to do <laughs> it loves to print black lines all on the back so obviously now i have to print off my um, like oracle cards, I can't have the black lines because it's just going to be a complete waste of paper materials, it's not going to work. <sighs> so yeah, I'm, I'm really not sure. I think I have no choice but to, I can either let this printer rest, do the other stuff I need to get done, then print it off, or I can just start using the other printer for the prints 
and if it doesn't do the lines then maybe um, use it to do the oracle cards as well. I think, I think I'm leaning towards that because like this is just, it's taking too long now, it's now half two um, and I haven't even started packaging yet. And I've been spending so much time on this goddamn printer. I've turned it off. I'm just going to ignore it and pretend she doesn't exist and I'm going to use the old one for now. You guys have just got a 78 pound order. Literally like it... It makes my day. That has seriously cheered me up. <laughs> like I was so annoyed at this printer and then to see like the 78 pound order come through it just makes me like... Scented. <laughs> right, it's the... Uh... I mean, almost the moment of truth. I don't know where it is. I can't see. It's there. Uh, she coming. <laughs> don't look at my printer. It's very, very messy. I don't know why. Oh my god, you guys. There are no lines. She's perfect. I feel like someone just wants to mess with me today because, like, this is not printing right now. <laughs> like, these lines are the lines that I was talking about. And I'm just, I can't sell that like that. No matter how good she looks at the front, I just, that wouldn't be right to sell it with this. Like, I know you're not gonna see it, but no, not doing that. So what I've done is I'm printing off a customs label, but I'm printing it off on like a print setting. So I'm hoping it's gonna, I mean, it sounds like it's going a bit too fast, but I'm hoping it's gonna go slow enough to kind of clean off the, I don't even know what they are. The rollers? <sighs> okay, let's have a look. Okay. Okay. I mean, not great. Still not sellable. Okay, so I actually think I got it to work. I think it's printing the backs out completely clean. Um, it took a lot of printing. I had to print like five pages out before I actually started printing it um, clean with the back. So that's all set to print now. I'm gonna go out on the school run and then come back and start cutting everything on the Cricut and start packaging everything up.
It is 6.40 p.m. right now. It's so dark outside. Um, if I show you over here, uh, this is the product. It doesn't look like that many. That's finally all done. So now I'm on to packaging. So it's 6.40. I don't know how long this packaging is going to take me. Yeah, I'm going to get started on that and let's see what time we finish. I've had to have two lunches today, okay? Just to give me energy. I'm hungry again, like... It is, it's, it's hard work being a small business owner. I just want to let you know what I've done. I have like zoomed in on my webpage, on my Etsy webpage, so that I can see the names from where I'm sat. Like this is where I'm sat. That's where I've got to read from. It's going to help a lot, but I feel kind of like I got broken eyes or something. You guys, I 100% overestimated what I could actually get done today. Literally just sat on my bed for 15 minutes dying because my back is so sore and I am so exhausted. I could honestly go to sleep right now and just take everything I can right now not to yawn. I think I'm like halfway through the orders so I like packaging them up and I need to get them out tonight because I won't be able to get them to the post office in the next couple of days so they need to go tonight so I'm gonna power through now and hopefully it doesn't take me that long. So my camera actually ran out of storage and I had to delete a few videos, but I have managed to pack the catalog. Pack. But I have managed to package up all the orders and I'm now just gonna do all the postage and labels. I'm so tired. Right? Yeah, but you're treated for Yeah. Can I help you? Yes. Yeah. You can pee in there. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Thank you so much for watching, my loves. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.